everything like because everyone yeah, was sort of yeah. learning off each other at the time as well yeah. but i remember yeah i loved georgia and his break because i knew it was like well it's gonna be fun like no one's gonna complain <laughs> Because it's like, hey, <laughs> yeah. it's not my voice, it's not Nono's voice, yeah, yeah, it's not Pongi's yeah. voice, it's, it's going to be nice. Is that the hardest part of training, like, to make it fun? Bro, um, it's one of my um, things that I always imply. If you look at all in my Instagram, like, I'm always trying to be um, innovative. Because as a trainer, you see, you see the industry and you see what everyone's doing. And as a dancer... When you see all the dance crews making up unique moves, you want to be on top of that. So I took the prince, sort of the dancing prestige mentality to be like, I'm about to kill everyone off. Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm always like, hell no, nah, I'm going to do better. That's my attitude when it comes to things. But I want to do that in a positive way, obviously. I don't want to be like too hard. I don't want it to be like an extreme hard workout. Um, so I try to play games or take their mind off things. So as a quote that I always say as a trainer, I want to take off your to-do list as a workout into I want to, I, I, also I have to-do list to make it I want to-do list. You know what I mean? So I want my clients to come in because they want to, not because they have to. Like, I want to lose weight. I have to. I'm going to be like, I'm going to lose weight because I want to. Mm. You know, that's a different attitude when you have your client walk in like that. Mm. So I do a lot of games. I remember this one thing. He, uh, one of my clients, her, her son, uh, was new to working out because he's always playing games and stuff. So he came, um, he comes in and I'm like, damn, this guy's a teenager. I can't just give him some workouts that are like hard. I gotta make it fun. So I was like, I can't let him sit on a wall sit, right? A wall sit. Sometimes it's like, oh, I don't want to sit there. It's just full of pain and you're waiting. And I was like, hang on. So I put some cones up in the front of him and I got a little RC, like a little remote control car and I go, bro, if you drive this car all around the cones, <laughs> all around the cones, come back while you're on the wall, sit. You are the man. Straight away. Oh, yeah, I got it. But on the wall. He's about there for nearly three minutes. Oh. <laughs> Just driving the car. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm filming it on Instagram. I'm like, yo, the trainer's going to see this. No one does this shit. Like, you know what I mean? And that's the type of like uh, um, training that I want to do. Like, it's the same exact wall sit for three minutes. But the horse is just, on, on an RC, little, little, little remote control car, you know, and those little things that I was like, I'm going to make more of this. And then there was one thing, uh, another one where it was like um, a girl that liked shooting. She liked shooting, I don't know, something like uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the field, like shooting targets. And she, 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 she wanted to train her core because she was going to go to the, um, she wanted to train to go to the army, New Zealand army. And I was like, oh, you want to be a sniper? <laughs> she was like, nah, I just want to train my core, but I, I love to shoot. And I'm like, cool, cool. So one day I was trying to train core. I was like, oh. And in my head, she has to do a lot of planks to get strengthen her core, right? And mm -hmm. I was like, that's a bit boring. I want to, I want to uh, add something that she, she loves to do. So I got a Nerf gun with like the Nerf bullets and I lined up like those beer, those, those, those party, those party um, cups, those mm -hmm. red ones. Yeah. I lined them up like on a bit of a distance and she's on the plank. She's like, Pah! Oh, get yeah. it get all the cups and then you get off your plank bro it was on yeah. like then the gym started like oh let's do that as a, ch as a challenge for the gym i'm like <laughs> 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 like you know so i was like i was all good with it so i was trying to just be as a trainer to apply those fun things as a client hence the wheel you yeah. know what i mean it's for group classes you know um people used to do cards like the ace the uh, ones twos whatever and i was like nah i'm gonna flip the script I'm not gonna do just cards. My brother's a sign writer. I'm like, bro, can you do? Can you have this? Have a burpee, but have like the the Green Reaper on it. Have the uh, burpees and have a frog on it. And then I put it as cards, and they have to upside down. They have to flick it, and then that's what they they work out on. You know, so I was trying to change what was already out there yeah. as a trainer. And uh, bro, I I always want to do it. I'm always, even with boxing. I and that's hard, bro, because there's some on boxing trainers out there. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I gotta make this fun. So I start getting like. Um, bubbles, <laughs> you know, like the blow bubbles. So I, I stand on the chair and I blow it, punch all the bubbles, and they're like, pa, 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 pa. and if any land on the ground, that's a burpee. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> no other trainers done that, you know what I mean? So it's different. So I try to make it fun in a way where it's even the toughest dudes laugh and have fun, you know what I mean? So as a trainer, that's, that's sort of my goal. 
It's still like, hey, man, it's not all about working hard sometimes because you're literally working hard, but you're having fun. Same shit, you know what I mean? Same shit that an actual person would do on a plank. Hey, why not shoot some Nerf guns and try to do some targets? Want to control a car on a wall sit? You know what I mean? So, yeah. Hope those were your your um your go to trainings because you just re- revealed the <laughs> the secrets to everybody. Oh, bro, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's starting to do it now. But hey, everyone's man, playing bubbles and yeah, gym. yeah. Well, there's something I, I sort of like. Uh, I want to advertise as well for clients to come in to train with mm. me. Like you know, I have to say this stuff, so mm. which is good as well. I mean, if someone copies or my ideas, I just inspired them. You know what I mean? There yeah. you go, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Have it. It's all good, man. Like I'm just grateful they jumped back out west, bro. Like and actually helped out west yeah. now, you know, because. Yeah, man, I think, I always I always say to this guy, I believe in timing, like, even That's just so cool. getting you on. I think we're supposed to have Charles on, and he's the he's one of the founding members of Rampage. Oh, yeah. So yeah. when when we were all, when you started your old PT journey, that was when Rampage came about. But, like, I'm grateful that I was part of, like, everyone was building, because it meant that we got to meet every one that's doing really well now yeah yeah yeah. because the other big name that came out of doing all the bbm stuff is that alex flint and he's the trainer that's doing the match fit so we got to rub shoulders with all those guys you know because we were just out and about trying to just trying to get fit you know and that's awesome bro because like a lot of a lot of a lot of gyms and fitness organizations sort of clash with each other yeah and i think that's 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 trash bro like like you mentioned you mentioned rampage you know like um but I think they're mean, bro. Like, mm. when I see their stuff, the gym they set up, and also Westside Fitness, like, I see their stuff, and I'm like, I'm just inspired, bro. And I'm like, man, I want to work, work out at the gym. If I could afford I'd go there. I'd, I'd do my, my, my boxing there. Like, you know, I see, like, um, Boxing Alley, and then um, there's a new one, the box office out in Grey Lynn. Man, like, I'm inspired by this stuff. But sometimes I see a lot of fitness groups and, like, organized fit, uh, gyms sort of, like, clash with each other. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, hey. Oh, now they're doing that. Nah, don't do that. Don't do a six-week challenge because they're doing it. Like, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, like you, when when you said you were getting a lot of haters was when you know we started you started mm. that, that that the fitness thing with Nonu, and I was like, bro, that's that sounds about norm. It's like the better you are at things, the more hate you'll get. You yeah, know what and, I mean? and the more noise, eh? The oh, more the, noise bro, too. Absolutely, the higher you are, the more noise, the more famous you are, the more hate you get. Look at look at Israel Alessandro, bro. He's on the top of the world right now. <laughs> Getting the <laughs> mad hate, mm-hmm. bro. Heaps like even if you win the NBA championship, you're still gonna get. Look at LeBron. Oh come mm-hmm. on now, how many haters does he have, bro? Even Paris, oh bro, she gets so much haters as well. Like, I, yeah. I guess like you gotta look at it in a way like the higher you get, the more famous you are, the more haters you get, right? But in a way, the more haters you get, then that's when you know you're on, mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Because if there's no noise. Yeah, if they ain't got no haters Then they can't hear you Right So yeah bro Like With the gyms It's, it's like that bro Especially when you're on It's like whew. 